Hi folks, welcome back and we're carrying on from previous video tutorials. This time we're going to take a look at changing the image size for the default slider. Let's have a little look at what we're talking about. This here, this default image size right here, we're going to change that. We're going to make it a little bit bigger for this example. I'll just warn you right now, although you can change the image size, um, it may or may not look good in your template. It really depends on what is surrounding the particular slider. In this example, it takes up the entire row of the page so we have a little bit of freedom to make a larger image or even a smaller image in your template you may have something something to the left or to the right the the default slider may be a lot smaller uh, it really depends on the makeup of the site so although you can do it aesthetically it may or may not work for you so we'll show you how to do it if it doesn't work just stick with the default image sizes um, if it does work great okay so let's jump right to it let's get into Dreamweaver and let's go into our library sliders um, and our default slider page. Now we've put in some additional pictures here. We've already gone ahead and, and dropped the, the larger size images in here. Okay. Now, just so you know the picture size that we're using, I'm just going to double click on the replacement image and it's telling me it's 990 by 390. So you do need to know the image size that you're using, obviously. And I would suggest you do not go larger than 990 pixels wide. You can go as tall as you want and see how that looks. Uh, but 990 wide, anything larger than that, uh, really, it's just going to take up additional file size because for tablets and whatnot, it's just going to have to be resized down anyways. So we're going to be using a 990 by 390 as opposed to the 900 by 280 that the default size of the template comes with. Now I'm going to show you what happens when we change the image size. And there's two places we do this. First we open up the CSS folder and the default slider. And we just change the maximum width to 990 pixels or the width of the replacement images. That's step number one. Step number two is we open up the JS folder and the initial the init slider one JS file. Open that up change the width and the height to match exactly the pixels of your replacement images. Now as we only have one an option for one number like a height and a width make sure that your replacement pictures if they are larger or smaller that they're all the same height and width. Don't try and mix and match that's just gonna look ugly. So whatever you do make sure they're all at least all the same size if you do use a different size than the default size. Once you've done that we can just save we're going to go back. Now in this particular product here, the background will stretch to fit. And that will happen in many cases. In other cases it may not. Like I said, it depends on your product. So it's something where you have to experiment to see if it's going to look good or not. If I hit the refresh button in my browser, you'll see that, woof, there we go. Bigger image and the background expanded to accommodate the taller image. So that's one of the features that some of the, some of the templates have. 